In the rural villages and townships in the Bukadea district of eastern Uganda, pigs are an important source of livelihood for many communities. Pork is also popular in Malera. It's sold in many makeshift butcheries spread all over the village townships. And when cooked in various forms, it's a popular delicacy among locals in the open-air eateries. In these poor communities, the pigs are mainly left to scavenge for food including interacting with human waste. This presents the opportunity for pigs to pick up parasites including tinea solium tapeworm, the main preventable cause of human epilepsy. When a roaming pig picks that, those fishes, those pigs are called coprophagus, they eat fishes. It eats fishes which are loaded with the eggs. Then the eggs will hatch in the stomach of the pig to turn into larva and the larva will infect the, the pig up to the tongue you will see. The whole pig can be affected by cysts and if infected pork is not cooked properly, people can become infected and develop tapeworm, thus completing the cycle. A serious consequence of tinea solium infection in people is if cysts develop in the brain, they cause epileptic seizures. Cases of epilepsy are common in malaria, affecting children and adults alike. The economic burden of epilepsy is high and most people can't afford the treatment. People here neither understand the condition nor the link with pigs they are rearing. Most of them equate epilepsy with witchcraft. A new project to control porcine sister causes in pigs has recently been introduced in the area. The project is run by non-profit Global Alliance for Livestock Veterinary Medicines, GovMed, in partnership with the Uganda Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries. The project has been vaccinating local pigs using a new vaccine manufactured by Indian Immunologicals Limited, known as Sysvax together with a dewormer known as Peranthic from MCI Santi Animal. This has been the first project of its kind to intervene on cystocosis. There has been no vaccine and uh, most of the drugs that are available in the market have not been effective. The routine is now well established. Farmers gather with their pigs in readiness for the field activities. The field team dress in protective overcoats and disinfects all the equipment to be used to avoid passing on infections between pigs. The team works very diligently to restrain and take measurement of the pigs. They then dose the pigs with paranthic, after which the pigs are vaccinated with Sysvax. Vaccination and deworming are repeated at three months intervals. After two vaccinations, the pigs are fully protected. The government chose uh, porcine cystoscosis as one of uh, its key target diseases. Uh, and this came about because it was identified that porcine cystoscosis is a neglected tropical disease and that at the time there was no vaccine or treatment available for the treatment and control of porcine cystoscosis. Big farmers in malaria have begun to witness the benefits of these vaccinations. I uh, have seen a very big difference. This drug definitely is working. It's helping us to remove these worms. Before I vaccinated my pig, uh, weight was, uh, it, the weight was 50 kilograms, but after the vaccination, it improved from 50 to 79 kilograms. So I was able to get much money other than before what, vaccinating. That was the highest benefit. Local butchers are also vigilant on porcine cystocosis when buying the pigs from farmers, and they now know where to examine to find cysts. <laughs> This new vaccine and dewormer are expected to break the cycle of transmission of tinea solium between pigs and humans. 
The economic benefits that the vaccination and dewormer brings to farmers are also significant as they can now sell their pigs when they are healthier and weigh more. Ngalete kwa ni mambo rasi nkui nwa jasi kuruna repo tu kui Epota dumu ne deka sapolo kia bitu aniario Eka punu mabete adumu Ejala inete kui anini The new project has received positive feedback from the local veterinary office According to Bukedea District Veterinary Officer Dr. Francis Ongelech The project has created an awareness of poor science sister courses amongst pig farmers in malaria Traders used to cheat farmers. Uh, they could come and do, you know, they do the lingual uh, examination, and then they tell farmers that, you know, your pig is infected, just tapeworms. So, whereby a farmer doesn't know exactly how a tapeworm looks like in a pig. From there, farmers can easily be cheated, and they, they, they sell their pigs at low prices. But now, farmers have known that this vaccine and the dewama works. It is very difficult now for traders to cheat the farmers. So they sell their pigs at the right price. That's a very good benefit to the farmers. The aim of these vaccinations is to reduce the current prevalence of porcine sister causes from 17.2% to 0% in Malera sub county by the time the project concludes at the end of 2017.